repositioning of the economy. You're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Okay. The election, the wait for the results and all. How did the financial markets react? Uh, obviously, uh, in judging some of this point, you have to look backward in 2015 when the same election was uh, announced. Uh, you know, uh, stock exchange in 2015 uh, recorded the highest gain in 50 years as a result of confidence which uh, the Nigerian uh, population has, including the international economy, when Buhari was declared the winner in 2015. But it's not the same situation in 2019 uh, 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 for many reasons. One is that there is problem with the slowdown of economic activity around the globe. That is one. Two, there is also a lot of political tension and electioneering process. Three, there is also uh, a, a lot of question as far as political stability is uh, concerned. So the market uh, de definitely because it's a long term, um, it's a market that always forecast higher than necessary. What I, mean, what I mean by higher than necessary is that it's the market that has a long range uh, focus. Mm -hmm. So anytime there is an activity in, an, in, in a political activity, mm -hmm. the market will, will, will sit quietly and look at the potential mm -hmm. of that economic situation. Mm -hmm. So because also it's a market where all the investment that are taking place are for long-term gains. And that's why in most cases the market is very cautious of current situation because they are looking into the future. Okay. So let's, you, you heard from the report from Amina, the performance of the market, the capital market in February. Um, what would you say is the current status of the market? The market will continue to experience a slow process as far as the situation is concerned because investors uh, are investing not just because they want to invest, but they are investing first to guarantee their investment. Second is to see how they can reap more profit and then stay in the market for sustainability. So the market will continue to behave in that direction until a, a right atmosphere for the investors to come is right. That is the situation in the market. And however, there is also one contending issue. Uh, there is role. There is, a, there is a role to be played by the market itself, and there is a role to be played by the players themselves in the market. And there is also a role by which politicians or uh, uh, those at the helm of affairs can play for this market to continue to make gain. But so far as the situation is contestable, the situation is not satisfactorily to the investors. Mm -hmm. Investors will always shy away because you need to sustain the people or the investors in the market. And you also need to bring new investors into the market. And when new investors are coming into the market, it's what makes the market to consider that there is a lot of push uh, factors and therefore the market will respond appropriately. Okay, so we've been talking mostly about the, the capital market. Uh, can we, we talk about the economy as a whole. What did you see play out in the last few days uh, before the elections, before the results were announced and even when they were announced? Uh, there is a lot of economic loss that were made, and at the same time, there are some economic gains. Though, though the gains are not up to the loss made in the economy. You know when electioneering is mentioned, electioneering is coming with a lot of potentials, issues that concern those who are going to be the players in the economy, those who are going to depend on the economy, and at the same time, those who are expecting that if the economy grows, that there is a likely outcome that they will have something out of that economy. The situation is not favorable to Nigerian economy for many factors. One is that we have seen how the behaviors of our foreign exchange, we have seen also the behaviors of our local market, we have also seen the behavior of uh, potential consumers who are going into the market. Let me give you a, a good example. Uh, small businesses, in most cases, are grossly affected by electioneering process for many reasons. One is that every owner of potential business is also a potential uh, uh, voter. So therefore, the time he is going to use, the human time, the, the, the labor, that is going to put into, uh, to make sure that he has participated in the election, must stop his own business. M meanwhile, uh, you find a situation where business operators 
operating in Lagos has to travel as far as Aquaibo. Some will travel from Lagos to, to, to Sokoto, abandoning their production size. So that disturbance alone means a loss to them. And I, when you put the aggregate function and you take the multiplier implication of all this, it will still bounce back to the economy. However, it is clear that the economy has made so much of loss for many reasons. One, the postponement of the election. Two, the delay in uh, the, even announcing the result. Mm -hmm. Now three, with, uh, the, the likelihood of what is going to happen in the court process. All this is affecting the economy. So many people are now still out of their own business operations for, for many reasons. One, they want to see what is going to be the outcome of gubernatorial. Two, they want to see the, the what is going to happen between the contenders and the winners. So should we, do we have any reason to be optimistic in the coming months? Oh, the, the only reason is that to building confidence. There is need for the stakeholders to build confidence because in a situation like this, uh, investors or uh, operators naturally they are wait they are not on their own they are just waiting for the factors that brought those uh, minuses into the economy to change uh, that is one we are expecting the winners how to accommodate the losers and also the losers how to accommodate the winners mm -hmm. this is going to bring more confidence to the business operators and at the same time the market itself okay so there has been a slowdown in treasury bills and the bond market can you speak about that uh, you know, government came with a lot of policies, especially since President, President Muhammad Buhari presented the 2019 appropriation bill to the National Assembly, mm -hmm. in which he has mentioned issues of that nature. The, the, it is true that government want to settle a lot of liabilities in the domestic economy so as to put more injection, but at the same time, government is also trying to refinance this uh, instrument by, by going into international market to get facilities. So this has uh, triggered a lot of issues as far as bond market within the domestic economy is concerned. Okay. So in all this, the foreign exchange market remained stable. Did it insulate itself from what was witnessed from other markets? Uh, it, has been, it has been stable for quite a long time. And that stability has to do with the, with the, with the role played by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Uh, remember that the Central Bank was able to maintain uh, some corridors and windows in trying to put the, the exchange at a stable uh, situation. Mm -hmm. The market was distorted during the election, but it has to be distorted because there are foreign, sometimes we call it errands money that is coming into the economy. It has to distort the, the foreign exchange, but is in, is, is in the short while. And in the long run, if the central bank will still going to maintain the, the, the tempo, mm -hmm. we are expecting the, the, the exchange rate to be stable. And meanwhile, it is also advised that the rate at which we are exchanging Naira to dollar is still high, looking at other facilities that is coming from the yuan. Remember, there is a Chinese swap with the Nigerian currency, yes. and we're expecting that also to affect the exchange rate. Okay. So uh, what should be the immediate steps to be taken so that investor confidence should, can be restored? You talked about it, but let's talk about what should be done. Uh, the, there are roles to be played by government, there are roles to be played by the players, and so there are roles also to be played by politicians. From the government side, uh, there is need to bring uh, friendly policies that will maintain those who are existing in the market and at the same time welcome others who are willing to invest in, in, in the economy. And that has to do with, a lot with our foreign policy, with ease of doing business, and uh, including the economy, uh, economic recovery and growth plan of the government. Mm -hmm. uh, is going, is going to play a greater role. Remember, if it is not sustained, mm -hmm. the economic recovery and growth plan, the market is going to be affected because part of the role of the ERGP is to try and mobilize not small money, mm -hmm. 20 billion US dollars into the economy mm -hmm. for critical infrastructure, that is one. Second, the role of government. Government has to carefully look at the critical infrastructures, including security. There you have highlighted in, in the report this afternoon that uh, the power generation has dropped with about 1,000. Mm -hmm. Investors will never be happy with that and will never be encouraged. This type of information has to be changed. We want to see how 2,000 megawatt is added. When that one is added, the, con the confidence is being built. Mm -hmm. But And the players also, 
the, 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 the behavior of investment. Many investors wanted to invest where they can take much benefit quick, yeah. quickly. So there is need for investors to encourage the critical infrastructures, that is one, to also encourage the sectoral development of our economy, that is a potential in agriculture. There is need to open great, bigger windows in this market so as investors can bring, so that we can generate more, more, more financing in the long term and at the same time create more jobs. Thank you very much, Mr. Yishao Aliu, thank for you your very thoughts much. today on Business Thank you, thank you Express. Mof Lang. Thank you. All right. So the month of March is showing signs of positive strides as stocks recovered from grounds in early trade. At the close of the day's session Friday, the All Share Index appreciated by 0.34% to close at 31,827.24 basis points, while market capitalization stood at 3.635 trillion naira. 336 billion shares exchange hands in 4,423 deals valued at 3.635 billion naira. Now, world markets were lifted Friday by suggestions that the U.S. could endorse a trade deal with China in the coming week. Let's join Buster de Abel with an update. Global stocks started the first day of March mixed. Stocks in Africa were mostly mixed. Ghana's GSE Composite Index and South Africa's JSE Africa Top 40 opened trade positive, while Nairobi All Share, Namibia Overall Index, and Tunisia's Tunidex opened red. European stocks opened higher Friday, beginning the first trading day of March on a positive note. DAX topped 1.16%, 5100.62%, and CAC 40 also opened positive by 0.74%. Asia markets saw gains on the first trading day of the month after soaring in February, with the Shanghai Composite seeing its largest monthly gain in almost four years. The Shanghai Composite advanced 1.8% to close at 2,994. The Hang Index edged up 0.63% in its final hour of trading, and Nikkei also appreciated 1.02%. In the United States, Dow futures jumped more than 100 points after strong growth data indicating a positive open of more than 104 points. Features on the S&P and Nasdaq Composite Index were both seen slightly higher. And now for a look at the money market. How much is the Naira exchanging for other international currencies? The economic diversification policy of the federal government is to be strengthened in the second term of President Mohamedou Buhari-led administration. Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Aldo Ogbe, says the administration will further push the country to be among the world's largest exporters of agricultural produce. The minister was speaking with agriculture correspondent, Musa Babaliu. One of the dangers facing Nigeria has always been rapid changes of policy. This means continuity. It means that um, the farmers are going to continue to receive attention from government. It means that wealth is being slowly but steadily transferred to the rural areas. It means that importation of food will continue to reduce. It means that rural farmers mainly rural farmers, including big-time farmers, are beginning to enjoy the market which belongs to them. 
mean, mean, meaning the Nigerian and West African market. So for farmers, I think it's a moment of excitement, especially people in rice, cassava, and so many other products. I, I felt a bit sad when I heard them talking about oil, we're selling an NPC and so on. It sounded like returning attention to oil and gas all over again. NNPC plays its own part. Uh, it could do with more reform and retooling. But selling NNPC for, to many Nigerians was a very depressing uh, promise, and many didn't like it. Number two, um, we have to build an economy that is self-sustaining at home. Oil and gas keeps going back and forth. Today, prices go up, tomorrow they come down. You can no longer base planning, long-term planning on oil and gas. And the, the emphasis of the sale, on the sale of N, uh, NNPC was like, uh, people now are convinced that the most important thing to do is to sell NNPC. NNPC Nigeria's maize output increased to more than 20 million tons at the end of 2018 cropping season. To this end, Maize Farmers Association of Nigeria says Nigeria is now ready to start export of the produce. Tritons, which uh, the highest demand for maize is from Poultry Association, and their demand is only 8 million tons. The remaining uh, 12 million tons is going to the other food processes and the other uh, human consumption. Therefore, uh, the total demand for the human consumption and the other food processes will not be more than 6 million tons. There, so therefore, uh, there will be an, uh, an, an excess of our production so that we can even provide or supply to other neighboring countries. Because one of the major targets in Maize Association is start exportation of maize in Nigeria from Nigeria to other countries. Gold prices settled at a two-week low, giving up earlier gains in the wake of an abrupt end to the U.S.-North Korea denuclearization talks. Let's take a look at prices of commodities. And this is where we wrap up this edition of Business Express. Be informed that all previous episodes are available on YouTube. Remember to join us same time, same station next week, Monday. Until then, I am Muplang Dakok. Keep thinking and doing business.